welcome every one of us to the hour of solution. The Lord is going to come down mightily this night. And I want to encourage us, invite your colleagues, invite your friends, start a watch party, tag as many of your friends you could tag. Let them know that the program is already on, the hour of solution. And this night, the Lord will settle your life in the name of Jesus. This night, the Lord is going to visit us in a special way. This night, there's going to be a reign of miracles, a reign of the supernatural. The power of God is going to mightily come down tonight. Tell yourself, this night is my night. Yes, this night is your night. You that is out there, connected to this uh, program, this night is your night. There will be healings, there will be miracles, there will be signs and wonders, there will be deliverances. There will be answers to prayers. Broken marriages will be settled tonight. Hearts that are wounded will be healed tonight. Blind eyes will be opened tonight. Possibilities will be made possible tonight. There will be a reign of God's power tonight. There will be a move of the supernatural tonight. Like as I said, quickly invite your friends, invite your family members, tag your colleagues, start a watch party. This night is going to be a glorious night. It's going to be a night of wonders. And the Lord we settle every viewers tonight in the name of Jesus. And don't forget, it is the hour of solution. And this night, there is solution to every problem. I said, there is solution to every problem. The Lord we open the heavens upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's have a word of prayers together. Mighty God, the pillar that holds the world, the great and the mighty God, the El Shaddai God, the one that can do all things, the creator of the heavens and the earth, Lord, we want to thank you for what you have done through this uh, program, the Hour of Solution. Thank you for the wonderful things, the answers to prayers. Thank you for the, the sick you have healed, the oppressed that you have delivered. Thank you for the yoke of barrenness that have been broken in the life of people. Thank you for the mighty manifestation of your power. Thank you for the signs and the wonders. Thank you for all that you have done. And Lord, this night, we are before you. This night, the hearts of your people are looking unto you. The heart of the viewers are looking unto, unto you. Expectations are high tonight. Lord, I look up to you as you came down on Mount Sinai in the days of old. I pray that this night, during this hour of solution, you will 
come down mightily in the name of Jesus. Viewers that are watching us in different parts of the world, viewers that are watching us from Nigeria, viewers that are watching us from China, viewers that are watching us from Ghana, viewers that are watching us from Senegal, viewers that are watching us from Abuja, viewers that are watching us from any part of the globe, Lord, I pray and I decree and I proclaim your power will touch them mightily this night in the name of Jesus. The hearts of your people are looking unto you. Their hearts are crying unto you. Their eyes are on you. I pray that this night, O oh God, you will visit them. You will heal their sick body. You will deliver them from every captivity. You will break the chains of the oppressors against their life. You will turn their nights to day. You will roll away their reproaches. You will wipe away their tears. You will settle their lives in the name of Jesus. Let your power mightily descend this night. Let your prayers be set free. Those that are confused, let them be delivered this night. Lord, I pray you will make it a night of signs and wonders. Let the blind to receive their sight. Let the, uh, the deaf to begin to speak, to begin to hear. Let the dumb begin to speak, Lord, through this program in the name of Jesus. I pray for your servant. I pray that, oh God, the Bible said that the Lord has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. I pray that this night, the tongue of the learned, I pray that this night, oh God, you will release your anointing upon your servant. And through your servant, oh God, you will release your people to their freedom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I welcome every one of us to the night of power. This night is a glorious night. It's a night of power. It's a night of the supernatural. It's a night of glory. And it's a night of fire. It's a night of prayers. It's a night of the demonstration of the power of God. And you that is watching us tonight, right there in your church where you are connected to this program, right there in your homes where you are viewing this program, right there in transit where you are connected to this powerful program, I want to tell you the power of God will touch you in the name of Jesus. Are you blind? The power of God will stroke you. Blind eyes will be opened tonight. Are you dumb? And you cannot speak? The power of God will touch your vocal cord. The power of God will descend upon you this night. Are you lame? The quickening power of the Lord the power of resurrection will descend upon you this night. Remember, it is the hour of solution. Therefore, there is solution for you this night. There is remedy for you this night. And by the grace of the Lord, the Lord will settle us in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, I have seen the affliction of my people and have come down to deliver them from their Egyptian taskmasters. And I want to tell you, the Lord has seen your tears. The Lord has seen your affliction. The Lord has seen your captivity. The Lord has seen the hand of the wicked against your life. And just as the Lord did in the days of old, that he saw the sufferings of his people. He saw what the Egyptians, 
taskmasters were doing to his people, the Lord has seen the captivity. The Lord has seen the sorrow. The Lord has seen your tears. And I want to assure you, as the Lord God liveth, this night the Lord will touch you in the name of Jesus. It's going to be a very powerful night, yes. And it's going to be a night of warfare, yes. There will be serious warfare this night. This night is going to be a time of fiercely confronting the beast of Ephesus, yes. We are going to confront the beast of Ephesus. Paul said, I wrestled with the beast of Ephesus. And with what the Lord has for us this night, it's going to be a time of confronting the beast of Ephesus. It's going to be a time of battle. It's going to be a time of prayers. And I want to tell you, viewers that are watching us at this time, you are not supposed to be a victim. In fact, God has destined you to be a victor. As a creature of God, you are supposed to live the triumphant life. And I want to tell you, you cannot continue to be a prey under satanic dominion and under the control of the enemy and the powers of darkness. And that's why this night, I've told us, it's going to be a night of fiercely confronting the beast of Ephesus. Going to be a time we are going to take the battle to the camp of the enemy, dismantle their programs against your life. It's going to be a time of war. It's going to be a time of spiritual warfare. And this night, I am sure, there's going to be a panic in the camp of the enemy. Just make up your mind that this night is your night. Tell yourself, this night is my night. I want to hear you. I say, tell yourself, this night is my night. Sister Chica, I'm seeing you online. This night is your night. That person that is watching us from uh, Mozambique, this night is your night. Sister Mercy, this night is your night. And every one of us that is watching us at this time, and I will still watch this video, I want to assure you this night is your night. With God, all things are possible. And don't forget, it's, a, it's, it's the hour of solution. And because it's the hour of solution, there is solution for you this night in the name of Jesus. I'll be speaking to us on something wonderful this night before we pray. That's what the Lord will want me to speak on this night. And that's what we also form our prayers for this night, during this hour of solution. Remember, the hour of solution is a prayer-based program. It's a time we briefly hear the word of the Lord, and we release ourselves to prayers. And this time, I want to tell you, is going to be a time of real prayers. Kingdom will fall. Palaces will catch fire. The altars of wickedness, this night will be dethroned. Before we pray, I will be speaking to us on the topic, the devouring fire. The devouring fire. And this night is a fire night. It's a night of fire. It's a night of fire. The Bible says, that God has spoken once, twice have I heard that power belongeth unto God. And we are told that God is a God of fire. And this night, you are going to see that devouring fire at work. As I said, I will be speaking to us before we pray on the topic, the devouring fire. 
And this night, fire will come down in the camp of the enemy, in the coven of the wicked one. That place where they are holding you captive. That place where your picture is used to represent you. And everything they are doing on that picture and to that picture of yours is physically affecting you in real life. This night, there will be a fire in that place in the name of Jesus. Let's see the book of Amos. The book of Amos. Amos is after the book of Joel. A text is taken from the book of Amos. And we'll read some verses. We'll read verse 4, verse 7, verse 10, and verse 12. Please, if you have a copy of the Bible there, you will read, read along with us. Because you need to see what God said he will do. So that when we are praying, you will know what to do. Amos chapter 1, I read verse 4. Amos chapter 4, or rather Amos chapter 1, I read verse 4. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazael. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazael, which shall devour the palaces of Ben Hadad. Yes. God said, But I will send a fire. Before this verse, that's something that happened in the preceding verse. And that's why God said, I will send a fire. The enemy, we are holding the people of God captive. The enemy, we are tormenting the people of God. The enemy laid siege on the people of God. And because of that, God said, I will send a fire into the house of Ahazahel. And that's what will happen this night in the camp of the wicked, the camp of the oppressors, the camp of the powers of wickedness that have been tormenting the life of men. The Lord said, I will send a fire into their house. We shall devour the palaces of ben -Hadad. Wicked palaces will catch fire this night. The palaces of wickedness. Where wickedness is being manufactured against your life. The palaces of wickedness. Where the enemy deals with your life. Manipulates your life. The palaces of wickedness. Where the enemy throws the dart of oppression against your life. Those palaces will catch fire this night in the name of Jesus. And this night, as I said, is a night of the devouring fire. There will be a fire tonight. The fire of God will devour every sacrifice of servitude that has been made against your life in the name of Jesus. We read verse 7. You see God again, for emphasis sake, verse 7. But I will send a fire on the word of Gaza, praise the Lord. This night is a night of fire. I'm not the one saying it. You can see God saying it here. But I will send a fire on the walls of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Fire devours. Yes. Fire devours. And fire is not a respect of anything. Fire is not afraid of anything. Fire devours. It doesn't matter if there's a stronghold. It doesn't matter if there are altars. It doesn't matter if there are forces of darkness. In fact, it doesn't matter if there are witches and wizards. Fire devours. And this night, all the power that are holding you captive, or the power that will not allow you to live your life 
as planned by God. This night, the fire of God will devour the camp of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And this night, I told us, and speaking to us on the topic, the devouring fire. And this night, get ready. When it is time to pray, I told us, it's a fire night. It's a night of fiercely confronting the beast of Ephesus. Every beast of Ephesus, this night, the fire of God will devour them. I said the fire of God will devour them. Let me tell you, after tonight's program, something will happen. Is somebody hearing me? I said, after tonight's program, something will happen. Because God is a God of war. He's a man of war. And God is not happy when his creatures are under oppression, under servitude. The Bible said that the whole world lies in wickedness. And that's why this night, when it is time to pray, you don't just keep quiet. You don't close your mouth. This night is a night of contending. We are going to contend with powers. We are going to contend with forces. Those people that have covenanted and say you will not be a mother and say you will not make it in life and say you will not be free and say you will not make progress. This is a night of fiercely contending with them dismantling their powers and the Lord will send down his fire this night in the name of Jesus let's see verse 10 but I will send a fire on the wall of Tyros hallelujah you see again God saying I will in a matter of two or three weaknesses the truth is confirmed God is saying I will send a fire on the wall of Tyros which shall devour the palaces thereof. The palaces of wickedness will catch fire. The coven of the wicked one, where they are holding your life, holding your womb, holding your certificate, holding your business. That reminds me of a, a, a particular man. He has good opportunities. He has privileges. Opportunities that will that will translate to success. Opportunities that ought to change his life and impact positively on his life. Because there are wicked powers. Each time that opportunity will just dis will just fail. That opportunity will just be dismantled. Until he came to us for counseling. I remember somebody directed, directed him to us. And when he met with me, he told me, Pastor, this has been my experience. I have several opportunities. But each opportunity will fail. Anytime it's, I'm about making it, before you know it, something will just happen. And I just smile. Because I know that this is the handiwork of the wicked one. And as we are led by the Lord, that day we prayed. I could still remember, this was the, the, the verses of the scriptures. The Spirit of the Lord led me to read to him. And we prayed, and we kindled a fire. And he left. Five days after that prayers, he just called me and said, Pastor, I just got the news now that this is what is happening in my village. A particular man is about running mad now. And he's confessing, I'm the one troubling him, I'm the one scattering his business. After that, that was how doors opened for that man. And that's why you need to pray. The Bible said that the whole world lies in wickedness. There are wicked men. There are principalities and powers. There are evil people. There are forces of darkness. They are happy when you are crying. They are happy when your life is at, as a, as a, at a point. They are happy when you are struggling. They are happy when you are crawling. 
but this night enough is enough. The palaces of Geza will catch fire. The palaces of uh, Ben-Hada will receive the devouring fire this night. Like as I said, it's a night of contention. It's a night of fiercely confronting the beast of Ephesus. So that you can be whom the Lord wants you to be. We read verse 10. But I will send a fire on the walls of Tyros, which shall devour the palaces thereof. This is the Lord speaking here. And take note of what God is saying. When God said he would do something, he meant it, and he would do it. And this night, the Lord has promised to send fire. This night, the camp of the enemy will receive fire. The camp of your oppressors will receive fire. The instrument of wickedness, their calabash, their water calabash, their magical mirror, all the instrument of oppression that they are using to monitor your life. This night, they will receive the devouring fire in the name of Jesus. In case there are wars of sickness, wars of barrenness, wars of limitation. Wars of premature death, wars of miscarriages, wars of a stagnancy, wars that will not allow you to succeed in life, wars that will not allow you to make progress in life, wars that will not allow you to move to, the, to your next level in life. This night, the fire of God will devour them in the name of Jesus. Fire devours. It doesn't matter. Fire is not a respect of anything. It's not a respect of the powers of darkness. And this night you must pray. I told us the whole world lies in wickedness. And until you make up your mind to pray, until you make up your mind and said enough is enough, come once and again, but Satan hindered us. And by the virtue of my ministry, I've been privileged to meet with a lot of people for counseling. I've been privileged to sit with a lot of people, see their pains, see their tears, and I've come to discover that the world lieth in wickedness. The Bible said that from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. I remember one of uh, the days of our programs in Nigeria, in Lagos, Nigeria. Because after, uh, after my ministration, I have the privilege of counseling, and I meet with people one-on-one. -on -one. I remember a particular lady came to see me. She was coming for that prayer program for the first time. And immediately she entered my office. The Lord, by his grace, opened the eyes of his servant. The Lord, by his grace, opened my eyes. And I, I, I discovered that there's a personality that came into, came into my office with her. And I asked her, it's like you came with somebody. And she said, no, sir, I came alone. But I know she doesn't understand what I was saying. And what was her problem? She was 57 years of age. 57 solid years of age as a woman. And she's not married. He said, Pastor, nobody, no relationship. Nobody even tells me, no man tells me I love you. No man, no man even tells me I, I, I want your hand in marriage. And I smiled. Because by, she was not seeing what the servant of God was saying. And that was the personality that has been policing her life. That was the, the, the gate man that stands on, at the gate of her marriage. That drives away men. That hinders her from settling down in life. And by the grace of God, 
the servant of God we prayed, we kindled the fire, we exercised authority in the name of Jesus. And by the time the prayer ends, the personality vanished away. As I speak to you now, that lady got married last year. 57 years of age. And that's why this night, I told us, and speaking to us before, before we pray, it's a prayer program. Very soon I'm going to release us. It's a prayer program. The Hour of Solution. It's a prayer-based program. I just want to lay the foundation. You see the need to pray. You see what God, 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 what God said he will do. And you, and you stand on that foundation and deliver yourself. And this night you must deliver yourself. The Bible said that deliver yourself as a ruler from the hands of the hunter. If you don't deliver yourself, the devil will not release you. If you don't kindle a fire, the enemy will not release you. If you don't fiercely, aggressively confront the beast of Ephesus, you will remain a slave. And this night, that strong man at the gate of your breakthrough. That strong man at the gate of your breakthrough. Yes, there are strong men at the gate of people's breakthrough. Breakthrough to their marriages. Breakthrough to their conception. Breakthrough to their, to, to, to their finances. There are strong men, principalities and powers, that stands at the gate. And they drive away good things from your life. They restrain good things from coming into your life. This night, we are going to kindle a fire. The Lord said, and I will send the fire into the house of Hazael. We shall devour the palaces of ben -Hadad. And this night, get ready, there will be fire. There will be fire. There will be fire. There will be fire. It's a night of fireworks. It's a night of warfare. It's a night of prayers. Enough is enough. I, 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 I told us, you are supposed to live the triumphant life. It pains me when I see people under oppression. It pains my heart when I see people under servitude. It pains me when people come to see me for counseling and they are weeping and they are lamenting. Some of them, 10 years, they are under captivity. 15 years, they are under captivity. Enough is enough. This night, we are going to kindle a fire. We are going to take the battle to the gate of your enemies. The altars of wickedness will catch fire. The coven of oppression will catch fire. Where they are remoting your life, remoting your family. That woman that is there, the Lord just spoke to me now, that somebody that is watching us now, your problem is several miscarriages. And it's not just an ordinary miscarriages. The enemy is at work. This night, the fire of God will devour their camp in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, that reminds me of a, of, of a young man. Ten years of captivity, nothing, nothing happens. His life was just like the city of Jericho. Nothing good came in, nothing good went out. The enemy locked up his life for 10 solid years. Nothing was happening. Not knowing it was a strong man that was at work. The powers of wickedness. People that delight in keeping the creatures of God under captivity. And by the grace of God, he attended one of our programs. And by the word of knowledge, the Lord spoke out. Through his servant, there's somebody that is here. Within three days, something will happen. That's a terrible personality, a terrible, a terrible being that is behind your challenges. After three days, news just got to him that so 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 person in our village has passed away. We are not a destroyer. We don't kill people. But it lies in the hands of God to walk the way he wants. Immediately, the, that wicked personality was, was dealt with. The prison doors opened. What that young man could not accomplish for 10 solid years. 
within two months, he was able to accomplish it. Because the powers of darkness have been dealt with. The power that will not allow him to progress. Paul said he would have come once and again, but Satan hindered us. And that's, it. And that's what is happening to many people today. That contract would have worked, but Satan hindered us. I'm sorry to say this. It's a life program. I don't call names. You don't know who I'm talking about. Just this week, the Lord ministered to me and opened my eyes and said, Call so, 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 man. Tell him that those disappointments he's experiencing in business, in breakthroughs, is as a result of the powers of darkness. Engage him in days of prayers. And by God's grace, we know when the Lord speaks to us. And we have to call that man and say, this is what the Lord told us. Every time, all knows they are never there. There are powers that are scattering the work of your hands. You have opportunities. But they will not allow you to hit any of them. And that's what is happening to a lot of people today. There are businessmen that are there. You felt you are good. This one will work. Before you know it, everything scatters. This night, the Lord will release his devouring fire in the camp of the enemy. This night, the powers of darkness that have been sitting on your life, controlling your life, that has made you a prey, this night, the fire of God will devour, will devour their altars, will devour their powers of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. It's time to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I will send the fire into the house of Hazahel. You open your mouth. You open your mouth. Every wicked powers obstructing my life. Every powers of the enemy obstructing my life. I release the fire of the Lord right now. Yes, open your mouth. Anywhere you are now, the, it, it, it's the hour of prayers. It's the hour of solution. It's the time to pray. It's time to begin to release the devouring fire. It's time to begin to release the devouring fire. Paul said would have come once and again, but Satan hindered us. The walls of barrenness catch fire, yes. The walls of limitation over your life, I say catch fire, yes, you begin to pray. The walls of barrier, the walls of barrier that will not allow you to succeed, I say catch fire, open your mouth and begin to pray. Every walls, every walls, every walls, the walls of restriction, the walls of close heaven and close earth over your life, orchestrated by the enemy, orchestrated by the powers of darkness. You command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus. It's time to pray. Don't put your mouth and begin to pray. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. The walls of restriction over your life. The walls of limitation over your life. Remember, this night is a night of devouring fire. It's a night of devouring fire. It's a night of devouring fire. The walls of barriers over your life. You command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Brother Patrick, it's time to pray. I see a terrible walls over your life. I see walls of limitation, walls of restriction over your life. Let those walls catch fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to confront the beast of Ephesus. The beast of Ephesus standing at the gate of your breakthrough. The beast of Ephesus that will not allow you to succeed. The beast of Ephesus that will not allow you to live the life that God has proposed for you. This moment you confront them in the name of Jesus. Pray! Make sure you are praying. 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 You kindle a fire. You kindle a fire. You kindle a fire this night. You kindle a fire. You kindle a fire. Why the enemy is still oppressing you is because you have not kindled a fire. Where the, why the powers of darkness are still limiting your life is because you have not kindled a fire. Why the enemy is still in charge of your life is because you have not kindled a fire. 
you release the devouring fire this night, yes. Brother Sunday, you release the devouring fire this night. The devouring fire of the wicked. The Ogundeles, you are hearing me because I see you online. You release the devouring fire this night. The devouring fire over the powers of wickedness. You release the devouring fire over the forces of wickedness. Yes, all those witches and wizards that, that are troubling you. Fire is not a respect of anybody. The witches that are troubling your life, yes. The wizards that are troubling your life. We would have come once and again, but they are there manipulating. They are there using their magical mirror to monitor your life. They are there using their instrument of oppression to monitor your life. You command those things to catch fire. Yes, they are an instrument of wickedness. You kindle a fire. It's a night of fire. It's a night of fire. It's a night of fire. Quit yourself like the Philistines. The Philistines, they, they encourage themselves. They said, quit yourself like men. We will not be a slave to the, to, to the Israelites. If, if, the, if the Philistines can say so, you can say better. Quit yourself and say, enough is enough. I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to be a prey. Every altar, every throne, I said, catch fire this night. Call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, but I will send a fire into the house of Azahel. But I will send a fire on the walls of Gaza. The walls of oppression against your life catch fire. The walls of barriers against your life catch fire. The walls of principalities and powers against your life catch fire. The walls of limitation over your life catch fire. You command the fire of God to devour the wall, the, the walls, the, the walls of limitation. The word that will not allow you to proceed in life. I said, catch fire in the name of Jesus. The our solution is time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. If that's a man that can pray, that's a God that is ready to answer. If that's a man that will pray, that will call upon God, that's a God that is there to answer. It's time to pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord this night. You command the fire of God to descend on every wall, the wall of restriction against your life, the wall that will hinder you, you cannot move to the next level, the walls of stagnancy over your life, you command the devouring fire of the Lord to consume them this night, pray! In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I share this with us. Some of you that, uh, that, 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 that was with us in Lagos, I've shared it in various times. I remember years back, there was a time I, I was going for morning cry. Years back, very early in the morning, as I was going, I had a direction I wanted to go. But that morning, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. I said, no, I want you to go to the, to, to, to the opposite direction. And I knew that that's a purpose for that. And I listened to the leading of the Spirit of the Lord. And I went to that direction that the Spirit of the Lord said I should go. Lo and behold, it not done on me why the Lord said I should go to this direction. I saw a, a, a particular woman in white apparel. That's why I told us the whole world lies in wickedness. There are men that delight in wickedness. Their waking thought is wickedness. Their sleeping thought is wickedness. Their thought is how to hold people in servitude. They are, they are taught is how to lock up the womb of people, lock up the businesses of people, lock up the glory of people. And then in the morning, around 5 a.m., very early in the morning, I saw the woman clothed in white apparel, carrying a calabash. And immediately I, I saw her, I knew that yes, this is why the Spirit of the Lord said, I should come to this direction. And the, I, I heard the woman say, 
saying a lot of things, making incantation, calling the name of a particular family, and saying a lot of things, putting them under bondage. I just stayed where I was. I didn't allow her to see me. I was watching. And she was calling a particular family, pronouncing upon them that it should not be well for them, pronouncing upon them that they will never make it, pronouncing upon them woes, captivity. And after doing that, she dropped the wicked calabash she was carrying, and off she went. And that's how I got to, that's how I, I knew that, yes, this is why the Lord said, I should come to this direction. And that's how I went to that place. I don't know the family he was calling. I'm just a minister of the gospel. I'm a deliverance minister. I'm an, instru I'm an instrument in the hands of the Lord. And I believed that morning, the Lord just wanted to deliver that family. And maybe that family have been praying. And that's why when it is time to pray, you pray. The prayers you pray goes a long way to work for you. The prayer that so in fact that this prayer we are praying now, something will happen in some of you that are, that is watching us, something will happen in your village. Something will happen in the coven of the enemy. And that's how I went to that place that that woman dropped that calabash. And everything he said, negative things he said against that family, I began to reverse it. 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 And after I have prayed and I'm assured in my spirit that all those wicked things he said against that family that I knew not have been reversed. I use my leg and I kick away the rubbish calabash. And that's why you need to pray the whole world light in wickedness. You are going to pray now. Anyone calling your name for bad, calling captivity against your life, Anyone dishing out words of captivity, anyone dishing out words, evil words, words to enslave your life, words that will, you will not make it, you will not make progress, you will not move to, to your next level. There are some people you see restriction all over your life. It's as a result of the of the powers of the wicked world. You are going to pray now. Everyone, anywhere, any personality anywhere, any kingdom anywhere, any coven anywhere, where they, 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 they've been pronouncing woes upon my life, they've been pronouncing evil upon my family, upon my business, upon my children, I command you to catch fire now, yes, open your mouth and begin to pray, let them catch fire, let them catch fire, let them catch fire, let them catch fire, every evil pronouncement against your life by anyone, Pronouncement that you will not make it. Pronouncement that your, 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 your womb as a woman will perpetually be locked up. You command them to catch fire now, yes. Every evil pronouncement upon your life. Businessmen that are watching this program. Pronouncement by the wicked one that you will not make headway. Almost they are never there. I see people, almost they are never there. The business will almost click and it, it will never click. Repeatedly, you command this night, let there be fire. Let there be fire. Let there be fire. Let there be fire this night. The devouring fire. The devouring fire. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. The fire that came down on the altar and devoured the waters. Let the fire come down this moment in the name of Jesus. Pray. Call upon the Lord. The hour of solution. That is solution for you this night. That is deliverance for you this night. Remember, what we are handling this night is devouring fire. You fight with fire. You fight with fire. Every kingdom holding you under captivity. You kindle a fire, yes. Every kingdom, every kingdom holding your family under captivity. Every kingdom holding you, you cannot make progress. You cannot proceed in life. Every kingdom holding your certificate, holding your business. Every kingdom holding your glory. You command the devouring fire to catch fire this moment. Pray. 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 It's time to pray. It's time to pray. 
It's time to pray. It's time to pray, brother Henry. I thought I, I congratulate you this night. I see contentions against your life, brother Henry. That is online with us. I see contention against your life. You pray prayers this night. Every contention against my life, I say catch fire. Yes. Every contention against that your business, I say catch fire. Every contention to hold you in captivity, to hold you in servitude, I say catch fire in the name of Jesus. Pray prayers. Break your yokes. Break your shackles. Break the chains of the wicked one over your life. It's the hour of solution. That is solution this night. That is solution this night. That is solution this night. The walls, the walls, the walls of barriers. Barriers there, barriers here. The walls, the walls of barriers. As a lady 60 years old, you are not married. 54 years old, you are not married. 61 years old, you are not married. 47 years old, you are not married. You command every demonic barrier, every satanic barrier. I say, catch fire in the name of Jesus. I say, catch fire. Fire. I say, catch fire. I see somebody there. You serve your master for years. But your master is an occultic man. He is a wicked man. He has changed your glory. And that's why you are not making it. You command the fire, the devouring fire. Everything that, that your occultic master did over your life. Deal with your destiny. You command the devouring fire. Don't consume it. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I see the enemy running at us. Yes. I see the enemy running at us. I see the enemy running at us. Pray. Call upon the Lord. It's a night of fire. It's a night of confronting the beast of Ephesus. It's a night of confronting the power that be. The powers of wickedness. The Bible said that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Overpower the strong man from your life, yes. You overpower the strong man. The strong man, yes. The strong man in your village. The ancestral strong man. I see somebody there, premature death. Is your, this is a problem in your family. You overpower the strong man of premature death in your life. It's the time of prayer. Everything and, and anything can happen during the time of prayer. Everything and anything is possible during the time of prayer. You pray this night. You pray this night. You overpower the strong man. You overpower the strong man. You overpower the strong man. The strong man in charge of your glory. The strong man in charge of your health. The strong man that afflicting you with the spirit of infirmity. You overpower the strong man. It's a night of devouring fire. It's a night of releasing fire. It's a night of contending. You contend. You contend. You contend this night. You contend with the power that be. The power that be. You contend with them. Rise up and pray. Enough is enough. Do you want to continue to be a prey? A prey to the devil. A prey to the enemy. A prey to principalities and powers. Overpower them tonight. Yes. The strong man, you overpower. It's a night of overpowering the strong man. The strong man that is against your life. The strong man standing at the gate of your breakthrough, yes. He's standing at the gate of your breakthrough. As long as he's there, nothing is happening in your life. Nothing is coming into your life. Overpower the strong man at the gate of your breakthrough. You overpower him this night. The strong man, the forces of darkness, wicked powers, people that are mighty in wickedness. People that are mighty in oppression, overpower them this night, overpower them, they are our